today we have quite a bit of home projects that I've been looking forward to working on. First and foremost, the number one project is painting the inside of our front door. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time just to add a little bit of color into our entryway and I'm going to be painting it the same color as the outside of our door. So it'll kind of tie in the outside and it's a pretty light blue color. I, like I said, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, but I was a little, I am a little intimidated about it because I've never painted a door before, but I just told myself I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to go for it. I did a bit of research and then when I picked up the paint this morning, I asked them about if I just kind of asked for their advice, if they had any tips and what kind of paint I should get and all of that. So I feel like we're set up for success, hopefully. So soon I want to just go wipe off the door, make sure there's no dirt or dust, and then we'll go for it. I also want to make a veggie quiche, which is one of my favorite recipes. It's so phenomenal for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So it's a really great kind of meal prep item. So you can use it for various meals throughout the week, and it's just so delicious. I already made the crust this morning because you have to let it chill, but... I'll leave all of the details for the recipe in the description and I'll show you as I make it today. But those are a few things on the agenda, but excited to spend time with you all. to help and I just finished taping and I'm debating if I want to add tape to this edge or not I think I'm just gonna try it without and then we'll see how it goes and then I have my brushes here and here's our paint it looks really light but when it's against the white wall and paint you kind of see the blue more but here it is super beautiful and let's go for it
paint. It's going okay, I think. I really like the color. It's really not pulling up well on camera with the light coming through the window, but it's a light blue. However, it is very, very streaky at the moment. So I definitely need to do another coat. And part of me is like, oh, should I have used a roller? But even if I had a small roller, it would have been tricky because of all the different nooks and crannies with the trim and everything. So I think, and I'm hoping that another coat will do us well and that'll just make it look more seamless and put together. But yeah, it's been pretty, pretty simple so far. I don't want to speak too soon, um, especially because I'm always weary of pulling up the tape and seeing how clean of a line we have. But yeah, it's been a pretty simple project so far, so hopefully it'll turn out well. While our paint dries, let's go ahead and make our veggie quiche. I am excited for this because it's delicious, but I'm also really hungry. Tonight we have a community group that we're in at 7 p.m. And tonight's our like family meal night where we enjoy a meal together, but it's not until 7 p.m. and it's 3.20 p.m. right now. So this will be a nice snack. And then again, we'll have leftovers for the following days, the rest of the week, and oh, let me just show you this cookbook binder, or not, it's a recipe binder. I found it on Etsy, I've showed it before, but in case you missed it, it's very, very precious. It's a really beautiful design, and I have little paper sleeves and tabs in here with different categories, so we have a drink category, which I need to add to. I have a fireside butter latte, as the first recipe, which is one of our coffee concoctions. And then we have banana bread, which I bought extra bananas at the grocery store this week because I have been craving banana bread, but we're, we go through bananas pretty quickly. So I didn't have any extra. And we have our veggie quiche, waffles. Here, I'll give you a closer look. Waffles, chocolate granola. I make this all the time. Sometimes I don't make it as chocolatey, but the chocolate one's the best. Sunny sourdough sandwich, our favorite breakfast sandwich. The idea is that I'll keep adding to this for years and years and then give it to our kids one day and then it'll be like a cute nostalgic thing, hopefully. And then we have chimichurri sauce, pickled red onions, feta tzatziki, appetizers and snacks. I don't think we have anything. Gotta get on it. Sides and salads, spicy hummus, Oh, that's it. <laughs> Creamy gnocchi chicken soup. Oh, that sounds so good right now. Entrees, veggie pasta, desserts, crinkle cookies, and then I have a recipe for dog food. So I still want to keep adding to it, but I kind of have to be in the mood to write it out because it doesn't take that much time, but you know, I like to be in the mood for it. But our veggie quiche is a very simple recipe, especially if you don't make homemade pie crust, but the homemade pie crust definitely takes it to the next level. So I do recommend doing that, but if you don't have time, just get a pre-made pie crust and it'll still be really yum. But it's six eggs, and then on the recipe, I have heavy cream, but I don't have heavy cream at the moment, so I'm just gonna use milk for that as well, which it calls for milk also, but I'll just use milk for both. And then we have spices, veggies, and cheese. So. Basically, all I have to do now is roll out the crust that I made this morning, add it to our pie dish. I don't pre-bake the pie crust or anything, so then I just add all the, the filling to, the, to a bowl and then pour that in the pie crust and bake it. So, let's get to it.
good for me to be wearing an apron because I am always swiping my clothes with flour and whatever I'm working with. they do this thing where they hide a piece of paper that says oh you found the golden gnome and you either get a $20 gift card $50 gift card or a hundred dollar gift card so I went in and there was still one of the golden gnomes like in the midst hiding so you could look for it and they had a clue and the clue was it's hiding by something blue so guess who spent like 45 minutes looking for this gnome I was looking everywhere. I could not find it. I eventually gave up, but you know what I did find? A lot of cute things to buy. So this marketing thing they have going on is very much working. And yesterday I, I really just fell into that trap, but I did find this apron, which is absolutely adorable. I've actually been eyeing it for a while and I, I really just, I was like, this is the perfect day to buy it after, you know, all the baking and springtime things. So, very cute apron. And another thing I purchased that was not on my list, but while I was spending all my time there, I found this compost bin, this kitchen counter compost bin. And I really like it because, um, I've seen some on Amazon, but I really liked this one because of the color and... It's made with coffee grounds and bamboo. It seems really cool. But I have started adding to it. And essentially, what I'm going to add to it, you can, composting, I really am not an expert by any means. And I'm still researching it myself. But within the past year that I've been gardening, I have learned that coffee grounds and eggshells can provide just a lot of different nutrients and minerals for your garden. So I've been just sprinkling those by themselves on top of our garden beds and within the soil. So this just helps kind of keep me more organized whenever I have old coffee grounds and eggs, I can just pop it in here and then add it to the garden whenever. And there are more complex compost systems where you let it sit in the outdoor compost bin for months and months and then once it's complete it looks like this black gold fertilizer essentially compost that similar to like what you would buy at a home improvement store in the garden center so i am definitely not on that level but it's nice to have a bin to put those items and then i can just take them to the garden whenever and I've also seen people take their kitchen compost and then blend it all together so that it's in smaller pieces and then sprinkle it into the garden so maybe I'll do that but it's gonna get stinky soon but this has a filter at the top too which helps with the odor so it's very new just picked it up yesterday but I wanted to show you because I thought it was a nice find and hopefully it'll work well for our garden space
smells absolutely phenomenal. I'm just gonna let it cool a little bit and then have a slice. But the recipe, it's one and a half cups chopped veggies. And I always eyeball this and just use whatever vegetables I have on hand. And today I used spinach, cherry tomatoes, bell pepper, and cauliflower. But in the past, typically every time I make this, I put broccoli in it and I love broccoli in this quiche. I actually just remembered I have frozen broccoli, but I forgot about that at the time, but I think these veggies will be a good mix. We are giving major homemaker energy today. And I'm actually gonna bake some sourdough as well because I have a couple loaves in the fridge that have just been proofing. So I'm gonna bake one of the breads because we're completely out of sourdough. Typically we always have some in the freezer, but we're out of stock. So I'm gonna bake some bread. And then, let me show you. I think I'm done painting the door. It's hard to tell when it's drying. It still looks kind of streaky. So hopefully once it dries, it looks even and beautiful. But I have a propagation monstera uh, plant in the living room that is about to burst out of the vessel. So I wanna plant that and then see what other garden projects we can work on today. I'm just having quite a cozy day at home. a quick zinnia update they are getting so tall and hardy and i've been checking every day hoping to see some blooms popping through and i am starting to see color so they should be blooming any moment now you see the purple in the middle that is just incredible and then over here we have like a dark orangish color coming through so i'm thinking maybe tomorrow morning we'll wake up to some blooms that would be Super exciting. Another update is that we have baby lemons growing on the Meyer lemon tree. So that's also super encouraging. I did see a snake over here earlier today, so I'm proceeding with caution. But here are some of the little lemon babies. Let me try to focus on one. There's one right there.
excited to have this toy. We finished propagating the Monstera and I've been listening to the Survivor podcast. They just started a podcast this season and I'm so enjoying it. I find it to be so interesting, just all the behind the scenes of the show. Very, very fascinating. Survivor is my favorite show, so of course I'm intrigued by it, but wanted to share in case you like it too. Also, I have another fun garden update and that is we were able to watch a monarch butterfly the full circle of life of a healthy monarch butterfly so i planted milkweed from seed a few months ago and then it a monarch laid eggs on the milkweed and i saw all these baby caterpillars and the eggs and i took one of them and put it in my butterfly net and then watched it when it was almost ready to cocoon I put it in the net or crystallize I mean I put it in the net and so it would be safe from all the conditions and whatnot and then it was in its chrysalis for about a week and then it it turned into a beautiful healthy monarch butterfly and I released it yesterday so I'll put the footage of that here but it was really special because last summer I got really invested in the monarch butterflies and just learning more about them and kind of how their species has progressed the past few years and the habitat loss and everything and the diseases that strike the monarch population so i really really love learning about them and it was so incredible to just witness an up close and personal life cycle of the monarch so that was really really special and i thought you some of you who've been through that whole journey last summer with me would appreciate hearing this happy ending but that was really really sweet and I'm excited to keep learning about the butterflies and I need to plant more milkweed because the caterpillars they go through it so so quickly moment of truth I'm gonna start peeling off the paint excuse me sir I don't need your help with this thank you though <laughs> Apparently you're supposed to peel off paint when it's still a little bit damp. That's what the professionals say at least. So I'm going to gently start peeling off the paint and then tomorrow when it's uh, morning time in the daylight, it's pretty light out still, but just so that I have the, all the daylight I can get, I'll do any touch-ups needed. But it's looking really good. I'm so excited about this project and I'm Definitely thinking I really want to do the back door now as well. Uh, we have some peeling up. And here's our finished product. I think it turned out absolutely adorable. I really, really love it. I did go back and forth on whether or not I wanted to paint this trim blue as well. And honestly, I think it would look good either way, but since I was already intimidated about doing this, I thought one less thing that I need to paint, the better. And I looked up inspiration images on Pinterest and some people painted the trim, some people didn't. So I think for now it's definitely, I'm, I'm very satiated with this choice and think this was the move, but who knows what we'll want to do later on, but I really am thinking that I'm going to do this on the back door as well. Also, while we're on the topic of painting, I sort of am debating on painting this wall right here with our little entryway setup. I found this paint color that I'm in love with and I'm just trying to find a spot where I can incorporate it into our home. 
It's called cinnamon tea and it's sort of a pinkish brownish color or pinkish tan more like. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll paint this wall sometime. I think that would look good with the little accents we have and it would even make our entryway table pop even more because it would have more of a dimension with the color behind it than opposed to just the white wall now. So maybe that'll be a project coming up. That's gonna be it for today's video though. I am feeling sleepy. I'm ready to just have a relaxed night with friends and then go to bed early. I need to start a book because I'm not reading a book right now, but that sounds really nice to do before bed tonight. But thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'm excited to see you next. Bye.